So the PlayStation Plus games have been live now about a week and a half and if you're not into The Sims and you didn't like the Bioshock collection, chances are you're probably looking for something new to play. So it's that time where we're going to check out the PlayStation Store and see what awesome deals there are. Now there's like three sections available. On PlayStation Plus, I'll be honest though, there's literally like six games on there that are on sale. And not the best, but we'll try and get into it anyway. But if you do want to make these games even cheaper, make sure you get your PSN credit from Instant Gaming. It's usually like 20% off, so picking up your PSN credit from there just gives you even more of a discount. The link down below will give you a little bit more of a discount on top of that as well, so make sure you check them out. But PlayStation Plus, there's literally six games on sale at the moment. And the only one that I'd say, to be fair, is worth picking up that isn't constantly on sale is the God of War digital deluxe edition it's normally 25 quid it's currently 13 pound on sale if you've got playstation plus decent discount for a decent game and i mean the first time that i ever played god of war was when we actually got a god of war game on playstation plus quite a while ago i enjoyed it didn't think i would not the sort of game that i'd normally play but i did enjoy it i played it for quite a bit and it's definitely a game that's worth checking out next up the critics choice now, the first game on here is a bit hit and miss whether or not it's your style, and it's a game called Death Stranded. It's normally 55 quid, it's currently 35 quid on the store, and I don't even know how to explain this game. Anyone that's kind of tried to explain it to me has literally said it's like a walking simulator where you're literally just delivering things around. I personally haven't played it, it's just I like Norma Reedus, and... The game does kind of look okay, whether or not it's your style or not, it seems more like a chilled out game than something that you need to fully focus on. So if it's something that you've been waiting to go on sale, now might be the time to kind of pick it up. Uh, the second one that I'm going to go for is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and it's the Battle Pass edition. The new Battle Pass is out now, it's got some cool stuff on it including Ghost. Um, so if you're after a new kind of character to play with in-game, might be the best time to get it. It's normally 75 quid, currently 60 quid on sale. Decent price for a decent game. Now, with the leaks that have been out about Warzone, the BR mode in the game, it kind of makes me want to play the game even more now to unlock as much as possible. So when it does come to playing BR on the game, you've got kind of new characters and skins and all the cool stuff that you want to be able to use in-game. So if you've still been holding off picking up Modern Warfare, if you game share with your friends, it might be the best time to pick it up. And the final one on this section is Borderlands 3. Now, this has been out a while, and I think anyone that's kind of wanted to play it has played it. It's currently 25 quid on store from 60, and they've raised the uh, level cap on it. So if you have played the game, say you bought it on disc and got rid of it because you completed it, got bored of it or whatever, it might be the best time to jump back into it because everything's kind of getting revamped. There's DLCs, there's new events and everything going on, and Borderlands 3 is absolutely awesome. Uh, but the final section is the remasters and the retro. Obviously, these aren't going to be for everyone. Anyone that is into old school games or that's a little bit older and looking to play something that they played as a kid, I'm sure there'll be something on this section for everybody. Now, the first one that I'm going to go for is Street Fighter the 30th Anniversary Edition. Now, when I was a kid, I used to play Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. I absolutely loved it, even though it was literally just button bashing, trying to figure out the special moves. Either that or when you got a little bit older, looking on your phone or looking in like cheat books to try and figure out all the secret moves and stuff. Um, it's one of them games that's really fun to go back to, just to kind of reminisce. Or if you're looking for a decent couch co-op game, it's normally 35 quid on the store and it's currently 16 pounds. But the final one that I'm going to go for is, I don't know which one to pick, they're all the same price from the same price, so I'm just going to kind of say it as a collection, and it's the classic GTAs, San Andreas, Vice City, and GTA 3. They're all normally 12 quid on the store, they're all 50% off, so you can get them £6 each at the moment. I love the older GTAs just because of the fun style of it, uh, just the way that the game looked with Vice City going into the strip club and everyone had triangle boobs with stars on the nipples, it was just so entertaining and fun, and the mini games and stuff that were in san andreas i used to play the um i used to play the driving school mini game kind of thing so much just to try and get max on everything absolutely loved it and i still play uh, san andreas on my mobile at the moment it's an awesome game and if you never played it growing up you need to play it and if you played gta 5 because you're a little bit younger and you've never played the older GTAs, definitely, definitely check them out. But that's pretty much it for this one. And remember, guys, if you do want to get these even cheaper, make sure you get your PSN credit from Instant Gaming. It's always like 20% off. Just makes your games that little bit more discounted for you. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.